Our next guest is one of our favorites. He is one of the new hosts of Top Gear America. Please welcome Dax Shepard. <laughs> Hi, Dax. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, wow. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You look good. Happy belated oh. birthday to you. Thank you. You know, I just, I don't want to jinx you, but I do have a friend who does the engravings of the Emmy statues. And I don't know what this means, but they did just call me and ask if I knew how to spell your last name. Oh, so wow. I'm about a fucking years ago. They have already seen the show. They are, they know it. I don't know. Again, I don't want to jinx you, but I do think it's weird that the engraver asked me how to spell DeGeneres and I don't know how to. Wow. So it, 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 could okay. follow up on that. Okay, yeah, I'll have someone follow up. It's usually on the show. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I saw you doing a video. There was a video of you doing squats with Kristen. Can I show this? This is very impressive. I mean, oh. look at you. <laughs> is this a new thing? Have you always been this strong and we're just seeing it for the first time? <laughs> oh, well, well, th what a compliment. And no, I don't, I don't think my squats have always been on on point like that, but you know, I had a couple of uh, self-induced injuries this year, and then I had some surgeries, and then I was feeling good, and then I had like three months before I started shooting again, I'm like, I'm gonna really dedicate some time to this. And Kristen was like, I don't know what this is about. What, do you think you're gonna compete in something at some point? Is there a like 46 year old foot race that's happening? I don't know about. Um, and so I had to demonstrate to her the great value of this straight, uh, strength training. Wow. No, that's really impressive. Squats are hard enough, but, but to have your wife on your shoulders, I mean, she is small, but still, that's very yeah. impressive. But I do have to tell you, my wife, after making fun of me, she presented me with this, which is so wonderful. You won't be able to read it, but I can read it to you. Most, Most impressive, impressive body in Las Feliz. That's yeah. right, which is a, a small community we live in, so it's not that big of a, an award, but it's not small either. No, no. You, you look, as I said, you look really good. You've always been open and honest, and recently you were open uh, about your lapse in sobriety after 16 years. Um, and I know that must have been really hard, because you could have just tried to deal with it and not let anyone know that happened and just, just go right back to your sobriety. That must have been hard to admit. Yeah, I, I, I did not want to at all. I had all kinds of bizarre fears. Like, you know, I have sponsors on my show. Is that something that could cost me money financially? Um, but the number one thing I was afraid to lose was um, I take such... Um, I get so much esteem out of being someone who's vocally sober and I have people who write me on month one or on week two and, and I love that. That's my favorite thing about being in public. And so I was just terrified I would lose that. I've, I really cherish that. And I have a good friend that said, you know, if your real goal is to help people, it's not very helpful that you're 16 years sober and married to Kristen Bell. That doesn't help a ton of people. <laughs> In fact, it probably <laughs> makes their life worse. So the fact that you, uh, you know, just just fell, that that that's the actual value. That's the, the thing you could do that's helpful. And so when it was framed that way to me, um, it got a lot easier, yeah. Yeah, that is, that's so true. And everyone is flawed. Everyone makes mistakes and everybody that the hardest thing to do is to get up again and, and to admit it too. So good for you. Um, I heard kids- yeah, you can exit quarantine alive and married. My hat's off to everyone. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we've all been through a lot. Um, you, I heard the kids laughing uh, and how are, how are your kids doing? Um, my kids are fantastic. They are so much fun. I know there's been so much, you know, heartache and loss of employment and all this for so many people. But for us, um, you know, I've just got to see them so much, which I've been so grateful for. And um, which is not to say they're not terrible as well. They're, they're ferrets. They steal everything I have and, and have been doing so for now seven and a half years. So I can't have a pair of tweezers. I can't have nail clippers. These are, they will get stolen within 30 minutes and then they go somewhere I don't know. Maybe when we move, we'll discover where all these things are, but I can't have a hairbrush, nail clippers, you name it. So 
I recently invested in a safe. So I, I, I put these items in a safe. And when it arrived, Kristen thought it was a joke. Um, that's me getting it. I was so excited. And um, it, it's not a joke uh, because that stuff adds up. I also cut hair semi-professionally. And those scissors are like $100 a pop. I've gone through a dozen pairs of those. So I finally got a $100 safe in hopes of saving a couple thousand bucks. I put the key up high above the mirror so no one could reach it because I'm the only one above five feet in the house. And then lo and behold, <laughs> got a chair pulled up. There was a chair pulled up, went to get the key. It's not there, opened the drawer. The safe's open, scissors are gone. So now I'm gonna get a combination safe for the key. I got it figured out. Well, I, I sure hope you find him, Dax. That sounds horrible. Um, we're gonna take a break and uh, more with Dax Shepard after this. <laughs>